What is going on YouTube? This episode I'm doing an old change with uh, well you see mobile yeah anyways old change on that guy right there but before I do that old change if you guys haven't noticed um, the camera is actually kind of more closer to my chin which means it's on my helmet so I got to go out for a ride get that oil heated up and then furthermore Luke while he's being Luke uh, he's going to end up helping me so this should be an interesting episode I want to go ahead get going roll those credits let's get started So since this is going to be a really long ride, let's uh, let's go ahead and try something out that our European friends might call a montage. Okay, that was a horrible way to say it. I just it it, it feels like it's French. I don't know. Anyways, roll it. Oh. Instructions. Now we're here. For some reason, I hear a weird noise over here. Anyways, this thing needs to run for two more minutes, and then I'm going to get out of these jeans, get my little brother Luke, and we'll start spilling fluids. That doesn't sound intimidating. Anyways, moving on. All right, so I got news. I thought Luke was gonna help me and turned out my dad uh, needed him to go, hang on. There you go, I hate dirty camera lens. Um, anyways, my dad needed Luke to go do something. So as I did say at the beginning of the video, it is really windy today. And um, the way I'm gonna be working all that stuff, unfortunately, it's not really gonna be the easiest or most logical thing to mic up and all that stuff. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time. There's a big gust of wind. Uh, I'm sorry, anyways. So what I got here, uh, as I also did share you in the beginning of my video was the four quarts oil that I'll be using for the uh, for the engine oil in this thing. I'm going to be doing the oil. And then also I've got a few, uh, make sure you guys can see me up. <laughs> I got a few spark plugs that I am going to have to gap. Ooh, speaking of which, that's still in my pocket somewhere. And then I'm going to, here we go. Uh, yeah, oil, oil filter, spark plugs. Uh, yeah, hopefully this shouldn't take very long. Hopefully it won't be too windy. It's getting a little cool, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. I was also, if I hadn't already said this, I was going to uh, put the camera this time on my head, forehead again, just cause uh, it's usually easier to get you guys a view of what I'm doing. Unfortunately, because I'm literally gonna be laying down on the ground, like most likely over here, um, it's just, it's really not going to, it, you guys aren't going to get much of a view out of it. So I'm just going to kind of have to set this thing off to the side and do it that way. So anyways, let's go ahead and get rolling. 
Let's see if I can angle this. Ooh, angle this and that. And there we go. Okay, so I said I'd be on the other side, and uh, it's, I mean, looking like I'm going to be more on this side, but it's because right now this is going to be the easiest way to do this. Ooh, uh oh. It's really interesting. I don't know what's going on, but we got a couple jumbo planes that are flying overhead. <laughs> Look at my dad get home right as I start. Delicious. Now, I got to order. speed this up. I'm going to go over here. Here we go. Dipstick right there. Bam. Whoo! Check that flow out. Also, want to have to get that. Oh. Oh, that engine's oil's warm. Ah ha ha! It's warm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for a second. I'm also going to wipe my fingers off, get a rag. Oh, and while I'm over here, I should totally grab my oil filter wrench, wherever it is. Oh, something too. Another note that I want to say. Um, I picked up an extra one of these. Now, part of this service, I will have to adjust the clutch. Um, it's good to have one of these on hand. The book does recommend you use them every time, but to be honest, whenever I did my oil change last time, I looked at it, there was nothing wrong with it, so I just kept on using it. But having one of these on hand is also great. Where's my socket? Everyone, say hi to Luke. Or Luke, say hi to everyone. No. Sorry, guys. Goodbye. Look, he's my little brother. I can only do so much. I'm sorry, guys. Not like anybody else could, probably. As much as I want to joke and say yes. It's true though. It really isn't. <laughs> yeah. That even hurts me. No, like everybody in the YouTube channel. Nobody oh. cares about me. Ah. Drop a comment below if you like him or care about him. Nobody does. I probably won't know for like another three years. Until I start getting famous. That's why I need you guys' help. Where is my socket? Huh? Finally found it. I don't know why it was in my drawer with pliers. I mean, if the like wrenches, maybe I can see that because it's technically oil filter wrench, but it's also a socket. It's more of a socket. I don't know. And I thought Luke was going to help, but I don't know if you guys could hear the four wheeler. I think it's a four wheeler. Anyways, back over here. It's still draining slightly. About to cap that thing off. Oh, I need the rag too. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna try to clean these guys off real quick. I just, I mean, obviously tools and stuff, they will get greasy and dirty just a little bit, but I don't want them getting too greasy or too dirty. So get the socket wiped off, get the drain plug wiped off, inspect it. Also another great thing to inspect is this guy, because Oh, you guys can't really tell. So it's magnetic. Um, not exactly a strong, strong magnet, but nonetheless, it is magnetic. And you got stuff that's going on inside your engine. Uh, you're going to have metal filings and stuff that will stick to this guy. So pretty, pretty indicative of something that may be going, going bad. Right. Oil's pretty well done draining. I'm going to go ahead, put the plug back in, start screwing that guy in. So much dust in there. The cool part is going to be recording me getting into that thingy because um, nope, that's where the oh, thanks for saying that though. Uh, no, because I got the filter, filters right there. But wait, what? Well, no, why thank no you? No filter. For, why thank me for saying something? Please? Thank you for reminding me to, to about the filter. But what's right there and in the derby cover, cover is the uh that's the clutch 
So this thing has a white clutch. Uh, not this time around. So every, I don't know, my 10th time. you have to open it? Uh, to adjust the clutch. I still gotta adjust it though. It's not a, it's not an automatic adjust, adjusting clutch. What do you have to adjust about it? To make sure it keeps contact with like the clutch basket or flywheel Why stuff. Why change? Here, come here. There we go, okay. Um, put the two screws in here. Okay. Okay, all right, camera's on my head. I also have my other camera set up. Uh, so that way you guys can see what I'm doing here. Now, oh, okay, hold one second. I got to get myself an extension. Man, the wind is getting strong and cold. I got an issue. So that's pre-lubed. Now I'm going to take the rest of this guy and my th and his three other friends right there, or her. What do you guys say? Good talk. Ooh, I think I got high off of that stuff. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! I don't think so. I don't know if it was recorded or not. I, I don't know if I started. I started that one. I thought I started this where the battery died. It's on 7%. I don't freaking know. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, uh, for the sake of time and all that stuff, um, it's getting dark. It's getting cold. I'm trying to finish up on the bike. I would like to try to show you all a little bit what's going on here. All right. So, this part of the video, it should, it should start speeding up a bit. So, it got really cold last time. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and address this camera, but it got cold last time and um, also I had a friend that came over. Uh, I haven't yet edited this video, so I don't know if y'all saw her or not. Just a friend of mine from church. Um, and I literally mean friend. Anyways, so we were all hanging out. I was working on this thing. It was getting windy. Also, uh, my dad coming out, came out, he kind of started doing some stuff. So all the audio wasn't exactly, um, I don't know if I want to say clean per se. You had heard a lot of background noise and I just don't want to do that to y'all. So today, uh, a few days later, like always, um, I got the bike pulled around. The engine oil has already been done. Just to recap, the engine oil already, has already been done. I just popped off the derby cover so that way I can adjust the clutch, which I'm kind of already doing. And then on the other side over here, Luke, say hi. Hello. <laughs> Enthusiastic. Uh, I don't, don't want to do this very hard because they don't hmm. learn as easy. Can't just take them off as easy. That might have been me. Okay, hang on. I don't really want to break them, you know. I appreciate that. Um, so Luke over here, again, I don't know if it made it to the... I don't know if it made it to the uncut version, or excuse me, the final cut. There you go. I don't know if it made it to the final cut or not, but he or I made some sort of challenge wager. I don't know about changing the air filter, so now he's... You said it's four bolts. And I was like, okay, I said it's, it's easy. It's just an air filter. You go, it's four bolts. I'm like, yeah, it's just four bolts. He said, you do it then. Okay, I'm doing it now. So he's, so, so he's upholding his end of the deal. So... He's over there doing that. I got a new uh, Canon air filter that actually I bought months ago that I've been needing to change out. And I mean, you guys, where's the filter? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, so. <laughs> so to kind of compare what just got pulled off, and I'm hoping you guys can see, I'm trying to make sure the camera's shining or facing this, but um, you can see the thing's just old. And I mean, some parts, the pleats are just, it's just black and nasty. It just, honestly, I've been needing to change this out for a while and I haven't, so. Uh, shame on me. Interesting. Um, also, I want to get some carb cleaner. Do we? Ha do I have any carb cleaner? I want to clean some of this stuff off. But 
Got the new filter over here. Funny. Clean, nice, shiny, reusable K&N. Shield your eyes. Gotta clean all this, all this stuff off from the uh, recircular, uh, that, what the heck do you call it? Stuff to make tree huggers happy. You happy Al Gore? I'm not. Oh, that's annoying. All right, so I'm gonna finish over here. Um, I already got this doom a hickey popped off. I hope I'm doing it right. Last time I did it was a little bit loose and then I took it to the Harley Davidson dealership and um, they kind of have an idea. They have a better idea of doing, knowing what they're doing than I do. I'm going to try to mess around and figure out how to get this nice and taut up here. But from what I understand, I loosen that, um, taking pressure just generally off of this. That way I can get a proper and true adjustment. So to finish what I'm going to be doing, uh, jam nut. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for moving the bike. Jam nuts loosened. Now I'm going to take my Allen wrench. I want to tighten it. So I want to try to get the camera off my head to show you guys something. Probably the easiest place to look is like right around here. Um, as I'm loosening and tightening this. Um, again, I'm going to make sure the jam nut is pulled all the way back. But um, I don't know if you guys can see the pressure. Whoops. Look right there. I think you guys might be able to see it. The oil. Um, see there, it's this. The, the oil is, I guess you would say, squished. And it just, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. But you can see it tightening and loosening right there. So I want to go. I want to just loosely go right about there and then I want to back it about quarter of a turn off. I want to hold it and then with one hand I want to try to put the jam nut back halfway. Ooh. Another thing too though is I think if I remember right the book says um, you either you, you get it so it's mostly tight and then you back it off either I think I said a quarter of a turn. I did a quarter of a turn. I don't remember if it was like some between a quarter and a half turn or something like that. I think that's what it is. Um, so it's 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 got a little bit of leeway here, and it's obviously not hard to overdo it because yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yay! All right, I'm gonna try to get that jam nut tight. Ow. Because it's tough because I'm really trying not to move the bike right now. All right. Now, I'm going to try to keep fiddling. I'm going to keep trying fiddling with this thing because I want to try to get it like nice and tight. This thing spins and I don't know why. I don't think that does anything. Let's see up there, that little bit of play right there is what I'm trying to get rid of. Pull it back just a little bit. Nope, that made it worse. Oh, there we go, that might help. Woo! I like that. All right, that set straight. There we go. Sleeve is back down. This looks like it's good. And I wanna button her back up. I really hope you guys can see. It's like the one thing I'm paranoid about is that y'all can't see, because then that would make me sad. And it means no content for you. Now with all this stuff being done, I'm gonna take a second, put all these tools away. And then uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is do the spark plugs on this, which will be really interesting because um, these front two are gonna be I almost got a fuel tank in the way. I'm not exactly sure how I want to get to them. I mean, it's not going to be hard, hard, but um, I don't know. Never done this before. Ah. 
Oh, air filter looks clean. Yeah, I like that. Cool. All right. Well, I think we're good. I want to go ahead and start this thing up. I want to go for a ride around the block, see how this thing does. Question is, how am I going to bring it all with me? Probably just want to put on the helmet. That's probably be the easiest way. I'll do that. See, how does this thing Ooh. want to do that? How do you... It just needs to like remap itself with the spark plugs. I'm wondering. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, when are you going? Let's see, let's see what this thing can do. That was a blast. So, I'm gonna go ahead, leave it off at there. Um, if you guys like what you see, please like and subscribe uh, for more adventures with this thing. And even then, if you see my truck back there, uh, right now I'm in the middle of troubleshooting that, trying to figure out what's going on with that. I am yelling like y'all ain't like right here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm talking to that camera. I mean, I am, but okay. Anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. So, you guys, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. Be safe, please. And remember, above all else, that I love you, God loves you, and be strong in your faith, stand firm, do everything out of love. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Whew.